Welcome to Michael's Beer Review. Tonight I'm reviewing Sierra Nevada's Pale Ale. I've had this over the years. See what it tastes like. I haven't had this in a while. I usually drink this in the summer. Sometimes I drink it in the winter, but uh, <clears throat> I, always, I think I always enjoy this. Um, it's poor. I think it's the one of the first craft beers they started Sierra Nevada in the 80s. Has that amber brownish gold color. Smells of the citrusy, some sweetness to it, spices. That's a nice smell, real nice smell. Sierra Nevada. A little more in. It's a nice head to it. Cheers. With that sweetness, underlying sweetness with the piney, citrusy, uh, spicy hops. Really, really, really fine. It's like jumping in a lake, I always think. Mouthfeel perfect. The carbonation is perfect. Wow. You know, this beer, I don't know how people, if they rate this below an A, they're, they're just something like happy beers. But I like this, something about it. It, it has a, a nice balance to it. It's very sessionable. And uh, the mouthfeel is perfect. Carbonation is good. Sessionable, you can drink quite a few of these. Fresh, cool, crisp. You know, it's refreshing. You know, people who don't like this probably don't like hoppy beers, and if you don't like a hoppy beer, you ain't gonna like this. But I enjoy it, I really enjoy it. I've had other pale elves, I had uh, Lagunitas, it's a little lighter. Else I had I had quite a few of these um, craft beer pals, but this is the one I can get this six ninety nine a six pack twelve bucks a six pack and you're getting quality quality beer just a great great beer beats any Mexican beer beats any light beer you know Mexican beer most of it is not that good you know you what what is it uh. I've been drinking Modelo's, Especial, and uh, I know they're different beers. They're log I know they're lagers, but why don't you just go to this? What else is there? Mode uh, Negreo, Modelo's, um, Dos Equis. This has some hops, bitterness, but if you like bitter, start out with this. It's not real hoppy, not too bitter, but it's an excellent beer. I give it an A+. Plus. Never fails. Never fails. It's a beer that I can, I joy, I will enjoy, the, you know, for years because, again, it's kind of like a Boston Lager. It's been around forever, probably since the eighties. It started the craft beer movement, <clears throat> and it's still going strong. If you never had it in California, out here you can get it anywhere. I don't know about where you're at, but this is a great company, great beer. Uh, recommend it if you can get it. You like pale elves? Try it out. If you're trying to get into craft beers, try this. It's not really, really happy, but the taste is awesome. Like I said, it has that sweetness. It's like jumping in a lake, kind of, when I taste this. The pines, the citrusy, the... Um, just a... Awesome taste. This reminds you of the woods or something. You know, after a hard working day. This is good. This tastes good, and... Uh, Never can go wrong with this with food. You can go with a lot of food because of the because of the taste so good. So A plus, I might give it a hundred, maybe a ninety nine. This is one of my top one beers I ever drank because it's so consistent too and so great. Um, again, if you don't comments, questions, try it. Uh, rec highly recommend it. And uh, cheers. Have a good day.